So I have rebooted Thunderbird now, which I can't seem to open the menu right now. Alright, so I rebooted Thunderbird, and this is the window that it gives you when you install Adblock Plus. So this is a list of items to block. I just either pick Easy List or Fanboy List, and I'll just pick that one and hit Add Subscription. Alright, so I'm going to right click this bar right here because I've already read all these emails. So I right click this and I hit Mark Folder Red and I'll mark it all as red. And I've already read all this, so I'll go Mark Folder as red. This one, I don't want to read any of those. I'll mark folder red. I don't want that to be a favorite folder. Alright, so. We're going to go into. Oh, contact sync. That's one you guys need. Alright, so there's a, pro, there's a little add on called Zindus. Z I N D U S. Just Google it. You go to Thunderbird extension, and we wait for it to do something, and then you click download now, it'll be an XPI file. Alright, so save file, desktop, save. Come on. And then we go back into Thunderbird. We go to Tools, Add ons. And then we go to our little extensions tab up here. And you go down here and click Install. And we go back to where we saved it, which is right here, Zindas. And we open it. And it'll ask us to confirm we want to install this. Install now, and then we restart Thunderbird. I'll pause it while it loads. Okay, so after Thunderbird reloads, you'll have this little icon down here, never synced. So you go back to Tools. Now you have a little nice new item right here called Zindus. Click on that, and we're going to configure it. So we're going to go Add. And this only works with Google, just so you know. So Zindus is for Google because I don't know many other software or email providers that allow contact syncing besides like a CSV file. And I don't know, maybe I'll show you guys how to do that, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. Alright, so the email account I want to use is, I'll do my Bronco mail. And this does work with Bronco Mail, even though it just says Google. Seeing it with personal book, yes. Mm, yes. No. Test connection. And you just hit OK. Seek now. And now we have all of our contacts. I don't know if it's still busy. I right, totally go to your address book, you just click right up here by the right and get mail, you click address book. And now I have you won't have the entire contact list from Boise State because that would be a humongous file. Apparently Bronco Mail allows you to access it but it doesn't let you to have it unless you've emailed all of them. So this is just the contact list of people I've emailed before. So If you want to look somebody up you might want to just log into Bronco Mail and do it yourself from there. But for receiving emails I like Thunderbird a lot better. Alright so X that some more add-ons for Thunderbridge might be interested in. We go back to add-ons. We go to themes. Get the themes down here. It 
should load Firefox for us. We can now delete this file because it's installed. We have themes for Thunderbird. This is really slow at loading. Which one do I? These are all kind of ugly. I have to say, Thunderbird doesn't get as much attention as Firefox does. I've used Office Black on Firefox, it's pretty good. Save it to our. This comes up as a jar file. I think this is just a container for the theme. It's not Java, if you're wondering. Alright, so we go in add ons. We go back to install. I think you have to be in the themes. Because it'll look for a jar file instead of an XPI file. And we have it right here. Hit open. Hit install now. back to themes. I don't know if it automatically selects it. Yeah. So we'll restart Thunderbird and I'll pause it again to speed this thing up. And as you can see it's kind of an ugly theme. But it's it's not bad I guess. It's, it's usable. Alright so we're going to go into tools this time and we're going to do a few account or we're going to go into options for Thunderbird. Alright, so you can change what appears in this pane right here. So a lot of times I like to put like dig or something. You can have it show an alert when a new message comes up. It'll pop up right here in a white box. Very intrusive, so it's easy to know when you have an email. And I guess you can play your own sound file if you want. Display okay so this just shows the default font I never really edit these I never really use tags either alright so auto save every five minutes just leave that yes 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 addressing how do I change what I was looking for addressing messages look for matching entries in here 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 Enable check spelling as you type. Yeah, just leave that all there. Alright, so we go to spelling. We go to spelling. Um, there's nothing really here to see. Security. Um, we go to junk. You can, might want to make it move it to the junk folder when you mark it as junk. I don't really ever get a junk email because I use Gmail, so I never really get that. Email scams, tell them if it is. Then it makes it easy for it to analyze viruses. These are the programs where you they say, oh, where your um, virus comes in and it'll start sending stuff out through your email. Actually, that would be a worm. But uh, you don't really get those that many these days. So just click this and I'll show you how to use Avast to um, scan them before it comes in. Alright, so we got passwords. I'm not going to show this. Oh, that'll be convenient. If you do not, if you have it so that it wants you to enter every password for every email, you can indeed save your passwords so it'll automatically enter them. But if you use a master password, you have to have one password set. And then once you use this, it'll unlock all the rest of your passwords automatically. I use it on Firefox to save all my passwords. Accept cookies, yes. Attachments. Um, just this is when an attachment comes in. Where do you want it to be saved? 
All right, so we go to advanced. Um, make it the default provider. That'll make it overlook Outlook if you're if you have Microsoft Office installed. That way, when you click on an address like somebody's web address online, it'll open up Thunderbird and it will open up a message window for you. You've probably clicked on a link before and it opens up like Outlook Express and stuff if you haven't had an email client installed before. And then it'll never send because it doesn't have an account set up. Thunderbird will fix that. Alright, so automatically mark messages as read immediately on display. Open messages in a new tab. I don't really have open new messages, I only read one at a time. Alright, so if you need to go through proxy settings, you go through settings. Most of you probably won't have to configure this. Um, if you want it to only use up 50 megabytes of space, which on my other machine I have only like 7 gigabytes of total space, because I don't have any hard drives. Um, well, I have one, two, but they're like 1996. So I should turn this down to 30, so it only saves 30 megabytes of emails. And then you can go into offline, and this is like how it'll act like when you're offline. All right, update. I always leave this the same. Thunderbird will automatically download updates and install them upon reboot of Thunderbird, and your add-ons will update automatically too. I just leave it like that. And most you might get a um, certificate question when you're doing a Gmail saying unknown certificate. Just hit OK because it should work fine. All right. One last thing of note on Thunderbird is that when you click reply, so we'll go to my Hotmail, I'll click here. When I click on reply right here, I wait for it to open up. You will see that it automatically puts the cursor at the bottom, and when you have long emails, having to click up here, hit enter, and type your crap here is really annoying. So we exit, we don't save it. What you do is you go into Tools, Account Settings, and then you go to um, Composition and Addressing, and then it says automatically quote the original message when replying, start it above the quote. And just do this for every one of them. Start above the quote. Start above the quote. And I added another one while you guys weren't looking. So we'll start above the quote. That will save you a lot of annoyances. Click. And that's about it. And that wraps up my Thunderbird stuff. So. Happy Thunderburden.